All right, so I'm still Ron Evans with the Hybrid Group, Dead Program on Twitter, and here I'm here to talk to you about Gintness, which is acceptance testing using Cucumber and GitWiki. All right, you think you're superheroes, you think you're spacemen, because you are software developers, and you could do anything. You can make anything you want to make. You can solve any problem you want to solve, right? Yeah, come on, you could do this, right? Just one little problem. You probably are solving the wrong thing. You're building the wrong solution. You're doing something that doesn't actually meet the needs of your clients. If, like yourselves, like us, are a software development company that builds software for other people, and so then you end up with this, right? It's actually uh, not the right solution, okay? It looks really interesting. It's technically elegant, but it's not right. It's just straight out wrong. All right, so who is to blame when this happens? Let's see, uh, it's you. Hello, this is your client, and the problem is it's you. It doesn't matter what happened because it's always you. And here is why, I'm not kidding. It's because we're professionals here. You know, if the patient goes to the doctor and says, I want you to cut off the thingy, the doctor's gonna say, what do you mean? The, the thing on your arm or the arm, right? They're gonna make sure that you're actually doing the right thing, so it, it is our responsibility as professionals who possibly are working on life and death systems to do things like online advertising, <laughs> right? It is actually up to you to make sure that you keep your client out of trouble. So this guy, who knows who this guy is? Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I'm so, 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 so sad. This is Uncle Bob Martin, okay? Uncle Bob, but Uncle Bob. And this guy has been actually dealing with this problem for decades. Just like everything in Unix, we're destined to reinvent the same things over and over, except not as well. Well, Uncle Bob is telling us we're doomed to solve the same problems over and over, except not as well, right? So he actually worked on the solution to this problem called fitness. And what fitness is, is fitness is a wiki that allows regular old business people to enter in, in their wiki, what their requirements are, and then it does what's known as testing executable specifications, right? This sounds kind of familiar. It sounds a lot like what Cucumber does. Now, I hear a lot of people say I don't use Cucumber. And let me tell you something. If you are a software development consultancy and you're not using it, you are dangerous, you are irresponsible, and you are unprofessional. And let me tell you why. Because you are probably using it wrong. If you're using it as a scripting thing to click on buttons, you're doing it wrong, okay? Because Cucumber is not designed to click on buttons. Cucumber is designed to test whether your requirements match the solution that you are trying to build. It's about testing the requirements, not only about testing the system itself, right? But the problem here is also how you're using it. You're using it wrong. You're taking like a Word document if you work for large companies like we do, or Google Docs if you work for you know hipster broke ass startups, yeah. <laughs> right? And they're going and entering all this stuff. Yeah, man, here's everything the system needs to do. And then they're giving it to you, and you're saying, "Aha! I'm going to turn these into cucumber tests." And you turn it into this nice, very readable format. And where do you put those tests? In your code. Do you want? the customers going into your code? No. And let me tell you, the customer doesn't want to go into your code because it's scary in there. There's code in there. Code they're paying you the right. They're not gonna go in there and mess with your code any more than they're gonna mess with you while you're performing surgery. They're like, yeah, get it done. And the problem here is a one-way trip, right? This is wrong. Don't we do iterative software development? And yet, it's a one-way journey from the needs of the user to your code. Yes, we are doing it wrong. What we need is round-trip solution engineering. And that is, in fact, exactly what Fitness did. It let the users collaboratively use this wiki to help define the requirements so that the software developers could then extrapolate from that and make sure that the system under test actually did what was supposed to be done. So we thought, this is awfully interesting. We've got Cucumber, we've got wikis in the form of Git wikis, and by the way, if you've never read this book, Specification by Example, stop what you're doing right now, go read this book. This is the singularly best book on making sure that the solution you're building is actually aligned with the needs of what your customer is asking for. Just 
by writing specific examples. Go read this book and then go get everyone on your team to read it and then go get your client to read it. Anyway, so we thought, wow, these tools could be used together in a really interesting way. So we created something called Gitness. So let's take a quick look at what is Gitness all about. Ron, if I leave to go to the bookstore to buy that book, um, will you find it? Will I find it? In the bookstore here? Wow, that'd be amazing. I don't think so. Right. You could borrow my copy. Okay. All right. So this is a wiki on GitHub. You've seen this before. And in here, we have created a feature. Now, you probably didn't realize that the Gherkin syntax, which is what's used by, is actually already a native supported feature as a part of GitHub's wiki, right? So let's go and edit the page, right? So addition is awesome. And if I am the end user, I'm going to go in and, you know, let's see if seven is uh, and five, right? So let's go ahead and save this. All right, so now we see we have a feature and we're testing addition, right? So now what Gitness is, is Gitness is a Ruby gem, which take a look here is our, oh, whoops. This is a very boring empty directory. Yes, very boring. And in it, we have nothing but this configuration file. And this configuration file points to that wiki. Okay, imagine this was your code in your actual code repo. All right, so now what I'm gonna do as we see that, as I'm going to actually run the Gitness using that configuration file, and through the miracles of modern technology, it goes out, pulls in using the Git repository that is in every GitHub wiki. Yes, every GitHub wiki has its own Git repository. And it's pulled those out. And now we see if we cat features, addition, there is your features. Yes, we have pulled down from the Git wiki into our code base. So now we can go and we can implement these features, and then we can push them back up to the wiki if we modify them. In other words, round trip solution engineering. Because we need to tighten, we need to close that gap between us and our client. Because it's not a one way trip, it's an iterative process, and no solution is ever really done unless the problem that it solves has disappeared. It's in a process that we need to work together with our customer, with our client, with our end user, and for that matter, with ourselves. Because what we're doing here is we're testing whether the requirements actually match what the system is supposed to do. We're not just clicking on buttons. So this is Gitness. It's a new project. It's just really started. Uh, we announced it at um, RubyCon. Uh, and so it's at gitness.com. Uh, you can check out the repo. We look for your help and your contributions because we need to do a lot better as an industry at building the right software. Thank you.